Hi guys, my name is Boy. In this session, I'm going to show you the solution to the integration of x squared sine 2x dx. But before I do so, if you guys like this problem, help me press the thumbs up icon and bring this video out onto the top of the search so that more people can get access to this video. And if you guys like integration problems, make clients see these problems, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. For this particular problem, we will use the technique called the integration by parts. The integration by parts formula is as follows. We take the integral of u dv. This is equals to uv minus away the integral of v du. To find y is v, we basically integrate dv and to find y is my du, we differentiate u. From this question, what we'll do is we will define y is my u and y is my dv. So we let u to be equals to x squared and dv be equals to sine 2x. To find du, we differentiate u respect to x, this gives us 2x, in which multiplying both sides by dx, we get du is equals to 2x dx. Next thing, finding v, this is equals to the integral of dv, is also equals to the integral of sine 2x dx. So this is equals to negative cosine 2x over 2. Once we found what is my u, v, dv, and du, we apply the integration by parts formula to move on to the next step. So what we got is we got as follows, u is x squared, v is negative cosine 2x over 2. Subtracting away the integral of v, which is negative cosine 2x over 2, du is just 2x dx. We simplify this equation, we will get negative x squared cosine 2x over 2 plus the integral of the numerator and the denominator 2 can be cancelled off, so we will get cosine 2x times x. Following which, evaluating this integral, we will use the same technique integration by parts, letting u be equals to x and my dv be equals to cosine 2x dx. To find why it's my du, we differentiate u respect to x, this is us 1, in which multiplying both sides by dx, we get du is equal to dx. To find y is my v, we integrate dv. So this is integral of cosine 2x dx, which is equals to the sine 2x over 2. Once we know y is my u, v, du, and dv, once again can apply the integration by parts formula to transform the second term integral into the following. So we get the next step, which is equals to negative x squared cosine 2x over 2 plus square bracket u is x, v is sine 2x over 2. Subtracting away the integral of v, which is sine 2x over 2 du, is just dx. Up to this point, we can just simply evaluate what is my third term, the integral. The integral at the third term would just be equals to plus cosine 2x over 4 plus c. Hence, the final answer to this problem is the negative of x squared cosine 2x over 2 plus x sine 2x over 2 plus cosine 2x over 4 plus c. If you guys like the solution, press thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more integration problems. My name is Bob. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.